Hey, YouTubers. So, just a quick update on my head cold. So, basically, last night, I had a real kind of a scare. You might say, well, what the hell happened? What do you mean by a scare? Did something really bad happen? And not really, but what happened was, last night, I started to feel pain in my ear. So, I'm like, FML, you know, fuck my life. I now have an ear infection because since Thursday, I've had this uh, really bad head cold, you know, last Thursday. And so, lo and behold, I go to bed, and I feel, you know, some degree of pain in my ear, so I'm like, fuck my life, oh my god, OMFG, are you kidding me, Jesus Christ, are you kidding me, whatever, it's like, you know, so I finally fall asleep around 1.30 or 2 o'clock, and yeah, not great sleep, and then I wake up this morning, and to my surprise, I mean, to my fucking surprise, the ear pain's gone. There's no ear pain. No ear pain whatsoever. My dad recommends I take, you know, big ass dad, like the big ass cigar, Papa Smoking SU. He recommends I take, uh, you know, some Dayquil and uh, over the counter Tylenol. And I say, okay, whatever. And I choose not to take it. And I go the entire day because originally last night when my ear started to hurt and I was like, fuck my life. I was planning on originally on calling out sick to work today, you know, calling out sick to work today and just uh, going to urgent care, you know, going to the uh, doctor's office as soon as possible, as soon as fucking possible. So, and in the end, I woke up today with no uh, pain in my ear, no pain in my ear. And, you know, my dad said, you can take some Tylenol, you can take some uh, Dayquil, but, you know, I didn't take it. And throughout the entire day at work, no pain whatsoever in my ear. No pain whatsoever. A uh, little bit of popping, a little bit of clicking. So, and then I get back home to my apartment, and I feel some pressure in my ear. So I'm like, fuck my life again. You know, goddamn life, whatever. So, and, you know, so I call my doctor's office, my, pri my primary care doctor's office, and I'm like you know, can I be seen? And they're like, well, we don't have anything available today. I'm like, okay, that pisses me off, whatever pisses me off. But uh, I'm like, okay. And I said, you know, I'll see be seen in urgent care. So my dad takes me to urgent care and I see this really nice, uh, really young uh, nurse practitioner. And yes, she was cute. You know, nice big ass cute like the big ass cigar. She was pretty. Nice big ass pretty like the big ass cigar. And yeah, she's probably around my age. Whatever. Enough talking about that kind of crap, you know. And yeah, so um, she looks at my ear, uh, both ears, and she also does the exam and listens to my lungs. My lungs sound perfectly clear. No crackling, no popping in my lungs, which is good because you worry about fucking goddamn pneumonia and also bronchitis. And also, my ears, she said, this ear right here, my, my right ear, said, she said, a little bit of scar tissue in that ear. I said, yeah, I had tubes when I was a kid. And she said, okay, that makes sense. And then she looked at the left ear. She said, there's a little bit of wax in that ear. And that's what you might be feeling is the wax. You know, big, big ass wax, like the big ass cigar. And yeah, she said, but it does not look infected, which is really good, really goddamn good. I'm not sure why I keep saying goddamn, just being silly ass like the big ass cigar. So, no infection. And she recommends I use Mucinex. So, instead of using Dayquil or Nyquil, I use Mucinex. So, my dad and I go to CVS, the CVS in my town, and we pick up a package of, of Mucinex. And uh, that's what I've been using. So, you take one tablet every 12 hours. So, yeah. I mean... No ear infection. Knock on wood. Knock on wood. Still no ear infection. Knock on fucking wood. Anyway, so I'm really happy as hell that I don't have an ear infection. Because ear infections suck. And also, when you have an ear infection, you have to take antibiotics. And those can obviously mess up your gut. They can kind of mess up your stomach and make you have the shits. So, anyway, have a nice day. Bye-bye.